那时候看这个影片，我们今天要看一下，就是 the the rise of 这个 amateur professional， 这位是呃呃这个呃创意的顾问，跟大家介绍说未来这样子的 amateur pro 会在产业里面产生什么样的影响？我们看一下他说的东西。Let me just ask you to start with this simple question:、uh, Who invented the mountain bike? Because traditional economic theory would say, well, the mountain bike was probably invented by some big bike corporation that had a big R&D lab where they were thinking up new projects, and it came out of there. It didn't come from there.、Uh, another answer might be, well, it came from a sort of lone genius working in his garage, who, working away on different kinds of bikes, comes up with a bike out of、uh, thin air. It didn't come from there. The mountain bike. Uh, came from users, came from young users, particularly a group in Northern California who were frustrated with traditional racing bikes, which are those sort of bikes that Eddie Merckx rode or your big brother, and they're very glamorous.、Uh, but also frustrated with the bikes that your dad rode, which were sort of had big handlebars like that, and they were too heavy. So they got the frames from these big bikes, put them together with the gears from the mountain,、uh, from the racing bikes. Got the brakes from uh, motorcycles uh, and sort of mixed and matched various ingredients. And for the first, I don't know, three to five years of their life, mountain bikes were known as clunkers, and they were just made in a community of bikers,、uh, mainly in Northern California. And then one of these companies that was importing parts、uh, for the clunkers decided to set up in business, start selling them to other people, and gradually another company emerged out of that, Marin.、Uh, and it probably was I don't know, 10, maybe even 15 years before the big bike companies realised there was a market. 30 years later, mountain bike sales and mountain bike equipment account for 65 percent of bike sales in America. That's 58 billion dollars. How? 这一段在讲一个什么这样重要的事情？刚刚我在利用，呃，这刚刚有一位同学问我说，建设公司都觉得他们不能犯错，那是不是表示年轻的这个建筑有兴趣的设计者就一点机会都没有？他进去那样的公司，是不是一定就只能够照那个意思去做呢？我觉得，如果你在谈的是十年前，也许是；可是如果你谈的是二十一世纪，也许不是。为什么？刚刚那个就是最好的例子。所有的大自行车公司都认为自行车要这样这样这样做才对，他看不到那里有一个市场，叫做那样那样那样做也可以，因为他不会去。认为那个市场是可行的，所以他永远是做这样这样这样。谁把它做出来，让它到最后变成有五百八十亿美金的市场呢？是一群觉得我需要那样那样那样才能够好用的人。那我们每一个人是不是都需要住在一个地方？我们既然每一个人都需要去住在一个地方，我们就可以每一个人都用自己的力量。去像这个自行车一样，他自己去想办法把它做出一些东西来，自己想办法做出一些东西来以后，他说十五年以后，大的自行车厂发现说哦，原来这里还有这种市场，三十年以后它成长到五百八十亿美元，这个是怎么来的？事实上，所有你想要改变整个市场的结构。都不是从专业的人来，因为专业他是既得利益，他不会去改变。唯一要能够改变的方法是从外面进去。所以很简单的做法，如果你真的对设计是如此的爱、喜爱，如果你对于这个一直抄袭旧的东西不敢犯错的方法是如此的厌恶，那么你一定有办法把它推翻。简单的举一个例子，当时苹果电脑。的 Steve Jobs， 他说，在一九八几年的时候做了一个这个这个电视广告，他一定要把那个巨人打倒。那个时候，他的公司跟 IBM 能比吗？当然不能比。可是他坚持一定要做。现在谁在？谁还在卖东西 ？IBM 已经没有在卖了。IBM 已经变成另外一种公司了。现在剩下苹果在。
，所以你只要知道说这个是未来的趋势，你就要坚持去做，但是一定不会是两年，我保证你不会是两年。我们有很多年轻朋友，甚至只觉得我两个月就要做到这件事情，不会做到的。我告诉你一个最低单位时间二十年，二十，这个是你躲不掉的。那所以这一些这刚刚的那一段话，他说有一些玩家，他觉得自行车应该要这样做，大车厂都不愿意做，所以他们就自己做。过了十五年。他很容易讲，过了十五年几个字而已。但是如果没有耐心的人，他不会投入十五年嘛？记不记得第一个影片，那个让那个走来走去那个管子走路的那个人，花了十六年，所以我才会说，任何一个东西你要改变它，投入二十年。那你也许会想说，那 Google 没有投入二十年啊 g o o g l e 一下就起来 ，YouTube 不是一下就起来吗？不一样的产业，它的产业不需要生产东西。而且他刚好碰到一个风潮，如果你刚好也是有这个能力，你也可以试试那个试试看，因为那个就是一个虚拟世界里面的另外一种结构，不是我们今天要讲的。但是如果你在实体世界里面，你需要投入的时间就是用这样去改变，但是你不改变也一定会有人改变，因为这个产业里面永远存在的革命家，革命家就是用非常长的时间。把现有的系统把它推翻掉，就是就是这样的一个概念。This is a category entirely created by consumers that would not have been created by the mainstream bike market because they couldn't see the need, the opportunity, they didn't have the incentive to innovate. Uh, the traditional view, still enshrined in much of the way that we think about creativity in organisations, in government, is that creativity is about special people. Wear baseball caps the wrong way round. Come to conferences like this. In special places, elite universities, R&D labs in the forests, water,、uh, maybe special rooms in companies painted funny colours.、Um, you know, bean bags, maybe the odd table, football table.、Um, special people, special places. Think up special ideas. Then you have a pipeline that takes the ideas down to the waiting consumers who are passive. Well, this view I think is increasingly wrong. I think it's always been wrong because I think always creativity has been highly collaborative, and it's probably been largely interactive. But、uh, if you want to find the big new ideas, it's often difficult to find them in mainstream markets in big organisations. We're going to talk about a real example. Do you know the Pixar company? Pixar. Pixar. <音>那个公司<咳>开始做电影的时候，那是绝对不成气候的，因为拍电影没有人拍动画<咳>。可是那个公司，当他们如此有兴趣的想要做这些事情的时候，又碰到刚好有人去支援他，碰到一个天才去支援他。到最后，他跟华德迪士尼这样子大的公司可以去谈判，而且谈到一对一的对等的条件，那样子的一个过程是怎么来的呢？他不是从华德迪士尼那种大公司里面自己，就不是从迪士尼公司这样自己的变成产生变化。迪士尼有没有产？有没有希望自己能这样子做？当然有。他为什么做不起来？因为他太大。所以所有的东西都是要在小的里面去做出成绩。如果你刚好有能力，你就去影响大的，把它做起来。所以这个就是他这一段在讲的重点。And just look inside large organisations, and you will see why that is so.、Um, so you're in a big corporation.、Uh, you're obviously keen to go up the、uh, corporate ladder.、Uh, do you go into your board and say, "Look, I've got a fantastic idea." For an embryonic product in a marginal market with consumers we've never dealt with before, and I'm not sure it's going to have a big payoff, but it could be really, really big in future. No, what you do is you go and you say, "I've got a fantastic idea for an incremental innovation to an existing product we sell through existing channels to existing users, and I can guarantee you get this much return out of it over the next three years." Big corporations have an inbuilt tendency to reinforce past success. They've got so much sunk in it that it's very difficult for them to spot emerging new markets. 
Emerging new markets, then, are the breeding grounds for passionate users. Let me just give you one final example of what that means. I was in Shanghai in an office block built on what was a rice paddy five years ago, one of the 2,500 skyscrapers they've built in Shanghai in the last 10 years, and I was having dinner with this guy called Timothy Chan. Timothy Chan set up an internet business in uh, 2000, didn't go into the internet, kept his money, uh, decided to go into computer games. He runs a company called Shanda, which is the largest computer games company in China. 9,000 servers all over China, um, has 250 million subscribers. At any one time, there are 4 million people playing one of his games. How many people does he employ to service that population? 500 people. Well, how can he service two and a half, 250 million people from 500 employees? Because basically, he doesn't service them. He gives them a platform, he gives them some rules, he gives them the tools, and then he kind of orchestrates the conversation, he orchestrates the action. But actually, a lot of the content is created by the users themselves. Why and these open models will still start emerging with tremendous force is that they multiply our productive resources. And one of the reasons they do that is that they turn users into producers, consumers into designers. Thank you very much. Pro-M,但是要接受Pro-M的时候,它必须要有开放性的组织结构。所以新型的组织的关键, 如果组织一个没有组织的组织这样的一个团队，为何大组织没有看见机会？为何大组织看见机会却没有兴趣？这些都是值得我们去想的。那以前我们也跟同学问答过，同学也都答得不错。创意发展的轴线是这样子，从概
，所以我们应该要思考这样子的创意方式版权怎么办。这就是为什么我一直跟很多人讲说，不要再重视版权了，因为以后根本大家不会重视你的东西，干嘛有版权？大家重视的是大家合在一起做事情。所以有 copyright 跟 copyleft， copyright 就是版权， copyleft 就是不要版权，所以变成大企业的武器。所以这个 copyright， 呃， copyleft 就是 creative commons， 避免成为知识的佃农。我们来看这位这个 Howard 啊、呃、，Ringgold 他讲的这个新的合作的方式。I'm here to enlist you, to enlist you, in helping reshape the story. In helping story reshape the story about how humans and about other how critters get things and done. Other critters get things done. Here's the old story. Here's the old We've story. Already heard a little bit about it. We've already heard a little bit about it. Biology, biology is war. Is in war in which only the fiercest in which survive. only the fiercest survive. Businesses and Businesses nations and nations. Only succeed by defeating, only by defeating, destroying, and destroying and dominating competition. competition. Politics, Politics is about your side winning. Is about your side at winning at all costs. At all costs. But I think we can see. But I think the very we can see the very beginnings of a new story of a beginning to emerge. New story beginning to emerge. It's a narrative. It's a narrative. Spread across a number of different disciplines. A number of different disciplines. In which cooperation. In which cooperation. Collective action. Collective and action. Complex interdependencies. And complex interdependencies play a more important, play a more important role. role. And the and central, the but not central, all but not role of all important role of competition of and survival of the fittest. Just a little Shrinks bit. Just a room. little. 刚刚他谈到过去所有的进步都是从竞争中来的，但是现在他是从合作中来，这是合作是一种新的方式，而且可能生产新的人类的一种新的方式。Fit. I started thinking about the relationship. I started thinking about the relationship between media and communication, collective action. Media and when I wrote smart mobs. Collective action. And when I wrote that smart when I mobs. The book, and I found I that when I finished the book. In I kept thinking about it. If you look back, in fact, if you look back, human communication media and human communication the ways in which we organize socially, the ways in which we organize socially have been co-evolving for quite humans a long time. Humans have lived for much, humans much have lived for much, than approximately much longer 10, years than the approximately ten thousand years of civilization. settled in agricultural small civilization families, in small nomadic countries, family groups. Bring down rabbits, Nomadic hunters bring down rabbits, gathering food. In those days, was enough the form food to of stay alive. In those days, was enough food to stay alive. Point, they but at some point, to hunt they banded together game. to hunt and bigger game. And we don't know exactly how they did this. And we don't know exactly Although how they did this. They must have solved some Although collective action problem. They must have solved so some collective action problem. It only makes sense that you can't hunt mastodons while you're fighting and with the other groups. And again, we have no way of knowing, but it's clear that a new form of wealth. And again, we have no way of knowing, but it's clear that a new form of wealth must have emerged. More protein than the hunter's family. So that raised a social question that I believe must have driven new social forms. Did the people who ate that mastodon meat owe something to the hunters and their families? And if so, how do they make arrangements? Again, we can't know, but we can be pretty sure that some form of symbolic communication must have been. So we come to see what he said. What did we learn from him? 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 同学要合作确实是很困难。那这里面有一个叫做呃囚徒困境，囚徒困境这里就不再详细解释，我想各位上网去可以看得很清楚。不过囚徒困境是一个呃实验性的
事情，我们把这个实验讲一下。就是如果甲跟乙两个人被抓去，然后法官跟甲乙都说，如果你们两个人都不说、不承认，两个人都沉默，那么两个人我就同时都判你们半年徒刑。如果你们两个人同时有一个人说有犯罪，那承认的那个人，我当场就把你放掉；可是不承认的那个人，我就关他十年。那如果你们两个人同时都认罪的话，我就关你们两年，这样子的一个情况。那这种情形呢，甲乙两个人都会想：两个人都沉默就是合作，两个人都认罪就是互相把对方背叛。可是也有一个情况是，有一个人合作，有一个人背叛，也就是有一个人认罪，有一个人沉默。这种情形呢，两个人都同时采取合作的时候，零点五零点五；两个人都互相背叛的时候是二二。一个沉默，一个背叛的时候，也就是一个采取合作态度，一个采取背叛的时候，采取合作的人关十年，背叛的人放掉。所以这样子的条件底下。如果我是以，我想我认罪这个情形的话，我有可能是关两年，也有可能是被放掉，因为我认罪，甲也犯认罪，我们就一起关两年。可是如果我认罪，那甲没有认罪，他采取跟我合作的方式，结果他要关十年，我就当场放掉。那样子的情况底下呢，大家就会开始去想这个认罪。比较就是背叛比较容易，所以合作是比较困难的。这个就是在学学理上研究的这个囚徒困境的方式。我们通常为什么不愿意跟人家合作，都是因为这个原因来的。所以通常都会选择背叛，不会选择去合作。那么 ，tragedy of the commons 的意思叫工厂悲剧。这个意思是说，有一种现象，就是说，如果这个是他在发表的时间哈，在一九六八年发表的。他的意思就是说，大家共有的东西，通常大家都比较不会去重视它。那么，我们怎么样去破解这种事情呢？破解这种事情，我们在课堂上说过，叫做 IPD， 叫做 iterated。Prisoners dilemma， 意思就是说，你不断的让囚徒困境发生的时候，到最后，它自然会产生一种公平的方法。也就是说，他被关关关关了很多次的时候，他终于会了解说，我我们两个人合作是比较有利的方法。所以理解利他就是利己，这就是伊贝到最后成功的意思。在伊贝上面，你如果去背叛别人，你就做不起生意了。所以。伊贝让这个整个制度就是一个囚徒困境里面的连续发生，因为他可以经常的把背叛人的东西放在上面。那这种连续发生的情况底下，就是叫做 IPD。IPD 呢，就可以让这样子的一个表呢，大家都不会选择左下、左上、右下，而同时选择合作，因为那个时候大家都觉得合作就是。大家共同服刑半年，什么叫服刑半年呢？就是我该付的钱就我要付。那么这个事情呢，就是变成是一倍做事情的方式。到了第五个、第五次上课的时候，我们就根据前面讲的这些东西，尤其是在这个 Pro M 这样子一个概念里头，我们就讲产业的前瞻。产业的前瞻，我们谈到臭皮匠设计法跟诸葛亮设计法，而且我们特别提到臭臭皮匠设计法赢过诸葛亮设计法。臭皮匠是个人，小公司；诸葛亮是大公司。<咳>那么，刚刚谈到的 mountain bike 是臭皮匠设计法，它是 reinventing， 它根本没有这样的自行车，它是去把它发明出来的，所以它是 Pro M 设计的。那么，我们来看一个大公司，那个大公司的副总裁要讲的事情。那个副总裁讲的事情，我们就要看一小段。With automobile technology over the last hundred years, cars are dramatically cleaner, dramatically safer, more efficient, and radically more affordable than they were a hundred years ago. 
But the fact remains, um, the fundamental DNA of the automobile has stayed pretty much the same. If we are going to reinvent the automobile today, rather than 100 years ago, knowing what we know about the issues associated with our product and about the technologies that exist today, what would we do? Communication is the core of design, is by the user and the designers. 在那一堂课里面特别介绍了这位设计家，那这位设计家的很多作品非常的漂亮，但是他不只是漂亮而已，他事实上他最重要的东西，他讲的是说很多的设计公司把开的像个呃律师事务所一样，那他觉得他不是
Then there was another influence. I was a teenager, and at 15, 16, I guess like all teenagers, we want to just do what we love and what we believe in. Um, and um, so I took the two things, I fused together the two things I loved the most, which was skiing and uh, windsurfing. Um, those are pretty good escapes from the, uh, the drab weather in, uh, in, uh, in Switzerland. So I created this compilation of the two. I, I, I took my skis and I took a board and I put a mast foot in there and um, some foot straps and uh, some metal fins. And here I was sort of going really fast on frozen lakes. Um, it was really a death trap. I mean, it was, it was incredible. It worked incredibly well, but it was really dangerous. Um, and I realized then I had to go to design school. Um, I mean, <laughs> look at those, look at those graphics there. <laughs> so I went to design school and, um, uh, you know, it was the early 90s when I finished and I, I saw something extraordinary happening in Silicon Valley. So I wanted to be there. I saw that the computer was sort of coming into our homes, um, that it had to change in order to, to, to sort of be with us in our, in our homes. And uh, so I got myself a job and I was working for a consultancy and we would get into these meetings and these managers would come in. Um, and they would, you know, they would say, well, what we're going to do here is really important, you know, and they would give us, give the projects code names, um, you know, mostly from Star Wars, actually. Um, um, things like C3PO, Yoda, Luke. Um, so, you know, in anticipation, I would be this young designer in the back of the room and I would sort of raise my hand and I would ask questions. This is what we Dave's behalf, 来告诉我们说，其实所有的设计里面都有一个想要改变整个呃原来的想法的一个过程。图像沟通跟文字沟通，像刚刚他跟小朋友沟通，那个为了要让小朋友不要喝糖水，他把那个图像做的那么的甜